Okay, so what we have here today is an old Radio Shack heavy duty 6 volt lantern battery. I found this at my parents' house, and um, they're not supposed to do that for one thing. Um, all right, let's see if this thing, I don't think it works at all, but. It's bulging in a couple places. Oh, we still have about, oh, and it's just the um, load from the meter is actually dropping the voltage. So, yeah, it's toast, which we already knew. I already knew. Um, but, grab this, because I'm hoping this is of the carbon zinc type and I'm going to be dismantling it to use the carbon rods for a project. Um, so we'll start by removing the wrapper. It still has a plastic wrapper on it. I don't know if this was even ever used. Um, as we can see here, there's a warning. Do not open battery. Well, we're just going to take that and peel it off. As you can see, the bottom on it's bulging. Um, now, what I'm actually going to be doing with this is I'm going to attempt to save the casing on it because I want to use the casing to make an adapter to hold D cell batteries. Um, rechargeable D cell batteries for to power a lantern. Um, so anyway, we're gonna cut this open. Now most people would. I've seen other people cut this cut batteries open, so it's not like it's anything new that I'm doing here. But most people will go along the seam around the top and cut that off. I'm going to do it around the bottom about here I'm going to be using a bandsaw and I'm not really worried about hitting cutting into the battery itself because this blade on here is shot um, there's a few missing teeth or whatever so not too worried about it so let's turn this on and give it a go So I believe we have that. Oh, now I wonder if it's um, not split. We should have just gone straight across the bottom. Um, okay, so let's try it. Because I think there is actually quadrants in here dividing the battery. It's not just a hollow battery. Um, so that is not going to be able to pop off like I was thinking it was going to be. Now we can see the cells. Now we just got to get them out. So we'll be right back. Okay, so now as you can see, I've made a couple more cuts so that we can be able to start prying off the outer casing around the base of the cells here. Oh, and this is just a very thin layer, and you can see how badly corroded these are. So, we're going to get this, get the camera moved so it's pointing down at the table here, and see if we can get these cells out of here. Okay, so, begun taking this apart. As you can see, the zinc casing of the batteries has pretty much ceased to exist. 
to the point where we can kind of just do that. And there we have our carbon rod that we're after. So we may not be able to repurpose the casing of this battery for a D cell adapter. But who knows? Probably be a bit easier if I had a screwdriver instead of just pliers. Yeah, the divider in here is just a real thin, very thin plastic layer. Hardly even enough to um, do anything. I don't think we're going to need to grab those um, rods yet. Okay, so I pretty much said forget about it as far as trying to save the housing and the battery. We'll do that with a battery that's in a little bit better condition that we'll actually be able to pull the cells out of. Um, but as you can see, there's not much of the wire was completely corroded off of that one. But there is no, nothing at all left of... The, the zinc housing on the battery. Here's where one of them was soldered together. That little piece of the casing is still intact. Okay, so now what I was planning on doing was um, taking this housing as a shell and mounting battery holders and having D batteries inside there to use as an adapter for um, lantern battery, but it's pretty much junk now. Uh, Alright, so let's go about continuing to get the carbon rods out of here which now should be easy because we just break what's left of the casing away and you can see there's a little brass cap on the top of the carbon rod It's a newer battery that's completely disintegrated. Um, we probably could have slid carbon rod out, and it's a seal battery. We're not carbon rod, here's blue to that. Um, so yeah, all right, one down. There you go. And you're doing a little bit, so I want to wear proper protective gear, goggles, gloves. Don't set up in your eyes or in all of your hands. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get that out there. Off. 
Let's see if we're getting this up here. Just a little bit of push. Pop right off. Throw a big movement back on there. It's not too much of a problem. And there we go. We have four nice carbon rods. They just need cleaned off. Um, and then we'll get on with our other project. Um, but that's what's inside a six volt square lantern battery and how to remove the carbon rods. Now this will not work with an alkaline battery. Alkaline batteries do not have carbon rods. It has to be a heavy duty style battery. Um, and of course before using these you want to wash them off because otherwise you got this. Uh, so anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.